I welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then in this uh, record, in this session, I am going to show it to you about how to remove the unsealing of a technical and commercial stages in a two-stage order. It is a very undesirable one. And then we are going to see, first of all, about how bad it is. And then afterwards, I will now customize the rule. And then I will now remove both the unseal of commercial and technical stage. So let me go there. And then show it. So I have now logged in as a PRC20. So let me go to the procurement and then go to the negotiations. I am now going to the negotiation. So I am now going to get a two-stage negotiation. Click on it. I will now click on create negotiation. So when you are getting it, what about the procurement view is absent actually. So that means what? He is not a procurement agent. So PRC20 is not a procurement agent. So we will now make him as a procurement agent first of all. Now. I go there, click on it. I will now go to the setup and maintenance. And then make him as a procurement agent actually. Only procurement agents can do it now. I keep on it. Manage procurement agent. So manage procurement agent is the task name. I enter it. We go inside. <clears throat> and then click on plus and then we'll now make him as a procurement agent actually. So it is US one business unit. And the agent name is what? Student. Right? Last name, comma, space, first name. ERC20. So there is a way you do it now. I click on it. And then go there and then make it as a US one. And then give access to other agents document. Always we give a full access because number of people, the procurement people available in the company will be very less actually. So every agent can look at others document and then take necessary action on this. So click on save and close. Now he is a procurement agent. So you can very well create what? Yeah, two stage negotiation. Actually. So click on that. Now we'll now go to the home icon. And then here, I'll go to the procurement and then go to the negotiations. Now, we are going to get a two-stage negotiation, which is the technical first and then commercial next, actually. Click on it. And then click on create negotiation. We are now going to get a negotiation. Now. So go there. Drop it down. And then it is only an RFQ only. It is an RFQ. It is a two-stage RFQ. Drop it down. And then choose two-stage. The two-stage negotiation or two-stage RFQ. Then go there. Drop it down and then choose the only available template now. And then go there and then click on create. <laughs> So I go there, cover page, I'm leaving it as such. I go to the overview page. And then I'm going to say, but when it is going to be getting closed, right? you know how to give a day number. I will not say, I'm going to have a two, prefix of A20, right? the two stage neg, right? give appropriate naming. Right? So there's a two stage. Right? So this is a synopsis of it. You can give a proper synopsis over here. And then I'm going to give a closed date. Now, if I click on it, I will not say it's getting closed on fifth text. The fifth is a closed date. So we are not concentrating anything on the requirements. Fine. Requirements are already there. Right? They have a requirements are fine. So there are whatever the technical and the commercial uh, uh, these things are there, fine. So requirements are there. But uh, what happens? You're going to answer these requirements right? with our with our uh, uh, standard ones now. I go there. I will now go to the lines now. Fine. Click on the lines. It's all ready made, which is coming out. My version has already made it. Now. So here I go there, and then I will now say which is the requested delivery date. Now. I will now say. Uh, we want him to deliver on 24th of Jan, actually. And that's it, fine. Right? And then you go to the suppliers and then have a look at it now. So suppliers, I will now make uh, the first two suppliers to respond only. So we are going to make a comparison only from one. It's called guild.no, right? So uh, I will now say guild.no. Go there. So it is a N-O-E-H dot G-A-L-L, fine. Right? So uh, it's always what happens, last name comma first name. That is the way what happens, it is there, actually. Just place the last name of the thing. So it will be the Kim John. Is a John dot Kim will be the username actually. So it's a John J O H L dot K. So when you are writing it, it is a last name comma first name, and that way they will write it. So there are two users for two suppliers actually. So these two people are going to give a quote on this. <clears throat> so so you know no no no. We'll now click on publish with the which one the record. So the RFQ number three one eight zero one is now submitted for public uh, 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 approval actually. And then I have already made it as automatic. And so what I was approval will be automatic. 31801 is the one point. Go that one. We'll now go to the manage negotiations and have a look at it. Manage negotiation. 31801 is the one. 31801 is the one. So make a search now. Fine. Click on search. And then in the approval in process. So once it is approved, it will be saying active and then lock. So what I do is I will now uh, stop the recording for some time till it gets approved now. It has got approved and then it has now become active and locked. 
So let us know what the first supplier is going to give a uh, quote for this. Go that tip on it. I will not go to the home account. It is a two-stage negram. Now take a copy of it. I will now go to the Edge browser. This is in a Chrome browser actually. In the Edge browser, I go there. I will now paste it over here. Click on it. You can check it. I am pasting it actually. On the Edge browser, I am pasting it. It's not coming. So the no.gil, I have already logged in and so it's coming up automatically. You know that. So the no.gil. If I click on sign in and then he is now going to he is now going to have a since I have signed it with a no.gil. So it is already coming actually in this Edge browser. So he will now click on the home icon. He is a supplier user actually. You will now click on the supply portal. So I will now again click on the supply portal. In this place, what happens? You will now go to the what happens? Sir? Monitor negotiations actually. In the negotiations, what happens? View active negotiations, not there. So you will now click on the view active negotiation. 31801 will be coming for him. You know, coming. So he is now going to get the response. Right? So click on create response. <laughs> he is now creating a response actually. <clears throat> So go there. So he will now, first of all, give what happens here one. So he will now say up to what date it is now valid. Now you go to the requirements. So in the requirements, what happens? Server speed is now coming up. So I will now say uh, it's what is the one one now. Maximum memory in GB is also one one. So just to what happens, the easy understanding what I'm giving it now. It's on section one actually. So section one, he has now given 11, 11, 11, 11. So you now go to the section two now, find section two business. The business, what, the, what is the total number of employees is 11. What is the website you are is 11. And then uh, what is the data of the fiscal year end now? Fine. What is the date of your fiscal year end? Fine. 11, 11. So something is different. And describe your company's philosophy. Okay, fine. 11. So he has given this. So he has answered both the sections now. Find the requirements front. He will now go to the lines and then he is going to give a quote for this. Look on the lines. So go to the lines and then after having done this, what happens? The server actually. Right? Click on the line price. I go there. So he is now giving a price of what? Let us say 11. Right? Give it that. So he is giving a price of 11 now. So the response quantity is 100. And then he will now click on the what happens? Edit now. Right? Click on the edit, edit count. Line price is 11 now. You go there. Come on. So the freight is also he is giving 11 now. So the total price will be 22 now. Right? For 100 quantities, the total price will be 22. Right? 11 plus 7, 22. And then at the bottom, what happens? We have to what happens? What is the daily production capacity of the item? Fine. Right? Go there. I will now give it now. Fine. Right? One second. I am now for easy understanding purposes, I am giving everywhere 11, 11, 11, 11, and then this is also 11. Okay, not given. So we are now given at the edit level also, we are given all the information now. Fine, click on seven close by which is known. Now he is going to submit his uh, one a quote now. Fine, so click on. So he has now given what about the requirements as well as the line prices. The freight is 11. So the total price is 22 actually. The response price is 22 now. Fine. So response 11 place plus straight 11 is uh, totally uh, 22 is the response place. And click on submit by which what happens? Uh, this will go to the neg admin now. But neg admin cannot see this uh, technical as well as the commercial prices at all. So, uh, if you go there, if you go to the neg admin, you don't go to the neg admin. Uh, so you will now make a search again. He cannot see anything because it's the active sealed actually. Click on search now, fine. He cannot see anything at all. Click on it. Go there. So you cannot see anything at all in this search. So if you go to this place, fine, go to the actions and then go to monitor negotiation. Uh, monitor supplier active, not the uh, analyze and then view response history. If you go to the analyze and then view response history, in the view response history, you will now see that this code is sealed actually. If the response is sealed, so you cannot see it. Only when you, what happens, open the cover, then only we can see the responses actually. Right? So everything is sealed, sealed, sealed. So let us now go to the next supplier. He is also given a, going to give a quote now. Now go there. I will now open up the Opera browser. There, I open the Edge browser of the one now. Fine, right? So I will now open up the Opera browser. <laughs> so in the Opera browser, I will now log in with the what uh, the one now. Fine, right? So if you go on and see in this place, uh, I have what I was the John dot Kim. Fine, John dot Kim is the one. Fine, right? uh, Jivo Hachan dot Kim. <laughs> go there. And then uh, the passwords are common for everybody now. Fine, right? all the users is common actually. So I'll not take up this now and go there and then paste it and then go there. Click on is a vision. Oh god. John dot Kim. dot am. John dot Kim. What is the mistake now? Oh, I think I better take on extra character, I think probably. Paste it and then click on sign in. 
there is some problem which is happening now. Some issue on the password now. So he is the second supplier. You know, signing them. So we are not signing it to the second supplier actually. Mm -hmm. Now he is going to give a response. So click on maximize. You get fine. You go to the home icon. You go to the home icon. And then you go to the supply portal and then go to the supply portal from there whatever you don't get the response uh go there ever you will not go to the what uh, view uh, uh negotiations and view active negotiations the one but you are active negotiation no worry about that so you will not whatever the create what yeah no sorry click on done now so we have to go to, we have to go to what happens uh negotiations view active seller auctions is coming uh view active negotiations or i've gone to this place actually so view active negotiations negotiations what do they go there and then here you can now see 31801 is the one and go there so for which what happens you will not get the response 31801 so you will not choose this uh, 31801 and then click on create a response so first time whatever you know going to say when it is going to be valid it will be going to be valid up to second january so then you will not go to the requirements so there the first one is given one one now this guy is now going to give two two so the next second section I go there, section two I go there, then there also everywhere I'm giving two two just for easy understanding. Right? So it is different from you. Okay. Then go there two two. And then afterwards you go to the lines region. So here on you will not give a price of what two two point two two is for hundred four days now. And then the freight is also two two. So the total price is forty four actually. So click on it now. The freight also is going to give a two two now. So the total price of the item is 44 actually. There it is 22, here it is 44 actually. And then here also, what happens, you know, putting everywhere total. So easy understanding, you know, you get now. Everything is given. So save and close, and then this guy is also going to what? Uh, submit the response actually. So his price is 44, that price is 22. No? Right, click on submit. So both the people are now uh, given a quote. Similarly, what happens, all the suppliers, this one will be giving a quote now. Now this guy will now go on and have a look. Go on. So go there. So uh, here, uh, what happens? We go there. We will now open up the three one eight zero one uh, neg now. Right, go to the procurement. Go to the procurement, and then you go to the negotiations. Right, go there. So go to the negotiations. Three one eight eight zero one is going to make a query now. Right, click on it. You will now go to the manage negotiations. Then query for three one eight three one eight zero one. Now it is an active locked state. That means what? Even he cannot see it. It's an active lock. So if you go there and then click on the hyperlink and then go to the view response history, you go to the actions and then go to analyze and then view response history. Now, both the both the codes are sealed for you. Right? It's all sealed. So you cannot see the response number also. Right? So now you, what do you do? He will now, first of all, unlock the technical stage. Actually, You're going to unlock the technical stage by which whatever. You can take the technical specs of both the supplier. Right? You click on You don't go to unlock it. So go to action. You go to actions and then go to manage. And then what happens? First of all, you now close it. So only when you close the negotiation, then only what happens, you can unlock it actually. So upon closure, what happens, all the participating suppliers will be given information that is closed actually. You don't go to close it. Okay, click on close. Okay. Uh, you, will, you will not say close. So all the participating suppliers will be given an intimation that what happens is no close. Fine, click on submit. Fine. So all the suppliers will be com communicated that is no closed. Fine. The close date has been updated also. It was initially somewhere now, I know, uh, four closed date actually. So we are not giving all the participating suppliers. Thank you all. Now it's all closed actually. Now, after closing it, whatever you go to place and then go to view response history, fine, go there. <clears throat> we cannot see that it is still a sealed state one. So now it was active locked. Now it is closed lock. The state has now become closed lock. Then that, now what happens? He is now going to open the technical stage. Fine, he is going to un unlock the technical stage. Go there, go to manage, and then he will now unlock the state technical. So he is going to unlock the state technical. So once when he unlock the date, what happens? He can now see the technical response of both the suppliers. So the technical stage is unlocked. Go there. So here, what happens? You go there. You will now go to view, analyze, view response history. Analyze and view response history. Now, what happens? There? The response number will be visible. Previously, it was sealed. Now, fine. The response number is visible. So you will now click on the first supplier. So third name supplier. You will now have a look at it. You can only see the technical specs actually. If you click on it, you can now see only technical specs. If you go to the requirements one. Go there. Whatever you quoted, all this one. Eleven, eleven is there. And then uh, what happens? You can go on and see this moment. The, the, the other other section is on the commercial side, and so it's not visible actually. So the technical uh, re, technical sections, uh, what happens is required as well. If you go to the lines, you click on the lines. You can go to the lines now. Fine. So he's the one now. Fine. If you click on the details, fine. Click on the details. So he's going to have a look at the details now. Fine. Click on details. 
Now, if you click on the details, what happens? You cannot see that. What happens? You cannot see this now. Fine. Uh, 11, 11, 11 is come. Fine. The technical. Fine. The attributes of an item, which are technical in nature, fine. They is able to see it. Now, fine. But the line price of 11 and then the freight price of 11, both, both put together 22, is, you cannot see it. All. You cannot see it. So you go there. The one now, fine. Click on that. So he's able to see what the technical specs basically on that thing. Right? So line attributes will be coming under a technical stage only. So you're able to see all the line attributes. Thank you. Now, if you go to the second uh, supplier, now fine. Now go to the opera now, opera. And then there, what happens if you give a search now? Fine, click on search now. Fine. now there. So what happens? A, 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 this one, fine. Uh, where is the number now? Fine. 101. 80101 is the one. Uh, if you go there and then make appropriate search, actually, fine. So invitation response response submitted is what yes no <clears throat> response submitted is one so go there click on what happens negotiation number is still we can put otherwise we can make a search you know submitted it from eight one uh eight uh what the number now fine uh two stages one now fine is not clearly visible here now fine so we'll now go on and make a search fine eight one uh uh eight uh what are the number actually <laughs> go there so the number is what uh three one eight zero one 31801 will be there now. Fine, not visible. Okay, 31801 is the one. Fine, go there. Invitation received. Fine, response submitted. Fine, go there. And then I click on search. Now, fine, 31801 is the one. Fine, it is still not visible now. Fine, response is submitted. Invitation received. Fine, uh, 31801 is the active negotiation actually. Okay, uh, we are unable to see from this. It's not active actually, it's closed actually. It's all it's closed. And so it's not able to see now. Fine. So what you will do is you will know uh, it's not no more active now. Fine. Negotiation manage responses now. Fine. If you click on the manage responses, you will not click on that. Not view it. It is no more active actually. No more active. It is now closed actually. So three one eight zero one is the one. So uh, you can now see uh, where it is three one eight zero one. Uh, response number is only coming. From there. I will now go to the negotiation number. Fine. Three one eight zero one, and then go there. So click on search now. Fine. You will not have all the response. So 31801, I will now say null and then I make a query now. Fine, click on search. You know, getting it. Now. So if you click on this response number, and then you can now he want to see the other supplier's response. You go to actions and then view response history. He cannot see other supplier's response at all. He can see only his response actually. Only his response is visible actually. Whatever yes code and everything is visible. You know that the response is able to see. The response history is okay. So it is a supplier. You know ah, what is this? 31801, Kim Jong. So it's a pending award. So it's now closed, unlocked, unlocked and taken. Now, once when I unseal it, the other guy, he can see the other guy's technical response also, which is highly undesirable actually. Once when I unseal it, fine. Once when I unseal it, then what happens? He can very well see the other supplier's response also. Fine. Click on that. Fine. I'm going to unseal it. So till now, what happens? Only the neck admin is able to see everybody's response now because he's unlocked. In unlock stage, what you can do is you can very well see the other, other supplier's response. If you go to the next one also, if you click on it, the second supplier's response also, you can very well see. You go there and then have a look at it. You can very well see this. <clears throat> if you go to the requirements, not actually on the requirements, you can also see the two to everything is coming fine. The lines region also, what happens? The attributes, line attributes will be coming. If you click on the details, the line attributes will be coming as a two to two. But prices, you cannot see. Now, he is going to unseal it, which is a highly undesirable activity. Now. So once when you unseal it, what happens? Even the suppliers can see everybody's response, actually. I'm going to click on that. You go there, click on that. Go to actions, and then here, whatever, they'll now go to the manage. Now, unseal technical. <laughs> Fine. This is a highly undesirable activity, and then I'll tell you what, what will happen if you unseal it. Now, this is not a mandatory step, and then whatever, you can very well complete the technical stage. After unlocking it, we can very well complete it, but this is an additional provision given by Oracle. Now. Fine. But many people do not like it at all. Unseal it. I'm going to remove it by role customization. Fine. The unsealed stage technical, I'm going to remove it by those customization. Right? I will not unlike it and unseal it. So once I it, both the suppliers as well as uh, the customer, both of them can see everybody's response. I click on now. It is not done. Now we'll now go to what? Uh, this one now. Right? So click on search again. I click on search. I'm searching for it. Right? So click on the response number. And then once when you view the response, right? go to actions and then go to view response history. If you click on the view response history, you can see both the suppliers response actually. His response, you can see here. The other supplier, the supplier name and site will not come, but his response will come. So if you click on the response, fine. if you click on the response, if you click on the response, then what happens? You can now see the other supplier's response. Fine. Click on the requirement. So he has quoted, let us say, IFA laptop. 
whereas uh, this guy has got only i3 so you will now see the his competitor is now giving you i5 actually and go to the lines region and then have a look right fine you cannot see that everything is i5 actually if you click on the details for you cannot see the other surprise response now what happens what this guy will do is you will now bribe the uh, negotiator and then ask him to go for one more round actually so in the next round what happens uh, this guy also will now code i5 right? and that guy also can see both and then he will again bribe the uh, negotiator and ask for go for one more round and then he will now code for i7 actually so after some two three rounds what happens uh, the negotiator will now buy a luxury car <laughs> so this is the biggest problem in the industry right? everybody will now bribe and then uh, they will now go for new new rounds and then what happens uh, they will now upgrade the specifications to be in the market actually so reliance has found that this is the biggest problem of unsealing it actually so they asked oracle to what happens uh, remove the unseal option itself right unseal option itself you remove it what happens so that what happens uh, nobody can do anything at all right Other, others cannot see at all other suppliers cannot see others uh, responses actually so but even though he doesn't know which supplier and which site has quoted it, but he can very well see the text specs of this. This is a problem. So we'll not go there. So this is not enough. Now what happens? We will not close that. Let us say he is not going to close the technically after having analyzed everything. What he will do is he will not go there. He will not click on search now. Fine. He will not close what. Fine. Click on it. You know, going to close this. He will not go to actions and then go to what happens? Manage and then you know what happens? The complete technical. He is not going to complete the technical. So once when he completes the technical, technical is now completed. It is now completed. So go there. So he, he can now see the status also getting updated automatically. So evaluation completed technical. Now he will now open up the commercial state, right? Go to the actions and then go to manage. And then you know unlock the stage commercial. He is going to unlock the stage commercial and click on the unlock stage commercial. So you know unlocking it. Fine. So now you can see the price codes also of both the supplies. Well, so go to the actions and then here, what happens? You go to the what's called award and then view responses straight. Now, you can see the prices of both the supplies also. If you click on the response, fine. First supplier, if you click on the response, you can also, it will be $20. <clears throat> fine, 11 plus. So, you can see the requirements here. So, requirements are coming here now. And then here, the next section is basically linked along with the financials, basically. You know that? So, section one, section two, no? fine. Section two is business, fine. These are the ones on the business, now, fine. And then another thing is what? On the financial. So, you can see everything, fine. So, uh, when does financial stuff, okay, fine. everything is there. It's not coming, actually. Nothing has been called, actually. So, go to the lines now, fine. You cannot see everything. So, the price is 22 now. He's able to see the price. Too. So, similarly, what happens? You cannot see the price of other, other also. What now? You go there, click on it. The second one also, what happens? You can see the price of 44, actually. You click on it. What happens? You cannot go to the lines. You cannot see this. But so, uh, this uh, second supplier cannot see because it is not unsealed, actually. So, since it is not unsealed, if you go there, and then click on done. Fine. He cannot see the prices. Well, technically, you can see now. Fine. Click on done now. Click on done. And then whatever they go there. I will not click on search again. And then go there. So you can see only technical till now. If you go there. So if you, you cannot see this. Fine. Only the sealed quote of his is coming. Fine. The other. Now, what happens? He cannot see the 22 quote of the first supplier actually. Now, let us now unseal it. Unseal the commercial, which is a highly undesirable one. Go there. So click on done now. Fine. Go there. Click on done. Come back here. Go there. So what happens? You give it done now. And then go to the actions and then go to manage. And then I'm going to unseal the technicals, commercial state. Once when you unseal it, both the suppliers can see each other's price. No, fine. Click on the unseal stage. Fine. Click on it. Now. It's now unsealed actually. It is unsealed commercial. Now. Fine. Commercial unsealed. Go there. So if you go to this place, fine, go there, come on. And then click on done now. <laughs> and then what about the view active responses? So we'll go there. For, we'll now go to this place. For, so uh, it's on the negotiations, and then we'll now see the manage responses now. Manage responses. Uh, 31801 is the one. Uh, negotiation number is what? 31801. <laughs> uh, I'm not able to immediately find it out. I'll now carry on. So negotiation is what? 31801. And then click on search now. And then and make the status as null and then do it now. Fine. Null and then make a search. It will be coming now. If you click on it, now he can see the prices of others. Also. So his price is 44 and then he is ranked 2 actually. He is now on the rank 2 actually. So here go there. He is able to read. So he cannot see the others prices because it is not at unsealed actually. The other, other, other person's quote is not here. You go to actions and then go to view responses. Sorry. You go to the view response history. If you go to the view response history, then what happens? The other supplier's price also you can see now. His price is to rank two. If you click on it, fine, click on it. We'll now go there. You will now see the other prices is 22. Fine, he's rank one actually. So he will again bribe the negotiator and then he will ask for one more round and then he will now quote below 21, 21.99. Like that, what happens? You will now start to quote. 
So this process of what creating next round, next rounds will now keep on going. And then there's a very highly undesired state. So we are now going to what happens to customize it. And then uh, by customization, what, what I will do is I will now remove the unlock, unseal technical, but I will now retain the unsealed commercial now, fine, just for your understanding, but you can remove both actually. So I'm now going to get a role, which is now going to what? Unseal the technical stage, remove the unseal the technical stage, but it will now retain the, what happens, uh, your uh, unsealed commercial now. But if you want, you can do it. Okay? So that is what I know. Fine. Right click and then what I'm going to bring it. So let us now, first of all, go there and then customize the role for removing these unseals actually. Go to the place, fine. I will go to the tools now, fine. I will go to the tools and then I go to the security also. So here, uh, if you look at my Excel sheet now, if you see, look at my Excel sheet. So go there, efficient program sheet. So the neg admin will be having this role now. You go there. It's on the it's called the first pillar is going on. The first pillar of procurement. And then initial stages, fine. First pillar, we have completed it. Second pillar also we have completed it. So we'll now come to the third pillar now. The third pillar, what was that? If you give the sourcing project collaborator, the admin can perform the setup section. But if you give procurement contract administrator, he can perform the setups as well as transactions also. So this role I am going to customize. Going to customize. I will now remove the unlock and unseal of it. Take up it. Fine. Procurement contracts administrator. Go the, the rules, what happens? You know, paste this now. You know, paste it. Fine. Procurement contract administrator. Fine. There is some mistake now. Fine. Procurement. Okay. P R O C U R E. <laughs> Procurement contract administrator. Ah, somewhere some mistake now. So go there. So I will now go to procurement and then C you now. Fine. Procurement contract administrator will be. Fine. So procurement contract administrator one. So what happens? So let us now go and then what happens? Edit this row. We cannot edit it. We can only view it now. Fine. Click on edit row. Procurement contract administrator. If you go to the functional security, there we will now view the what happens. First of all, load all the inherited policies. Click on the load all the inherited policies and then view this unseal. You go to the query mode. I will now go for unseal actually. So let us go here. So there are two unseals are available here. Stage one is technical unseal, and then stage two is technical unseal. But if you want to remove it, what happens? Uh, the inner it has inherited from negotiation management actually. So let us now go on and see the role negotiation management. So we cannot directly remove it now. So uh, it is now uh, it must be your parent role actually. If it is a parent role, then we can do it. Otherwise, if it is some other role, you cannot do it. So let us now go and then check the negotiation management. Now, fine. Unseal or on fine, coming, fine. Negotiation management. Let us now go. Let us now go to the place. Fine. Negotiation. Negotiation management. P A E T I O N. Negotiation management. Negotiation management. Fine. Over up. We go there. I will now edit this role. Again, the serial roles cannot be edited. We only view it now. If you go to the functional security, you know that. I will know what happens. First of all, load inherited policies. And then here I go there, unseal. So go there, negotiation management. Unseal. So negotiation management. Uh, what happens? No data to display. It is unseal. And then negotiation management. Unseal. Ah, it is not coming actually. Uh, unseal is not coming. So, uh, uh, a negotiation management is not exactly having this. Number. So, give a cancel. Number. So, it is not having it, but it is. Uh, if you have one thing, the category manager will be having the negotiation management. Actually. I will not query for the category manager. Category manager. Category manager. I will not go to the category manager. So, this one, what happens? I will now go on and edit the role. If you go to the functional security, so go to this place, right? This is what's called unseen. So you know, go on and query for the unseal. No? So let us now query for the unseal. First of all, load the inherited policies. No, load the inherited policies. If you see what happens, uh, this category manager is now having both the unseals from negotiation management. So first, I have to customize this negotiation management and then remove only one. In my case, what happens, only one I'm going to remove. Right? And then that ne customized negotiation management has to be inserted into my uh, customized category manager. And then that customized category manager has to be inserted into what? Into my procurement contract administrator. So it's a three-step process actually, fine. For that. So uh, it's inherited from this role. So first of all, let us know what happens, uh, create a, what happens, uh, negotiation management. We'll now create a customized role for this. Don't we'll take away. So click on cancel now. I will not go and then go find that. So click on it. 
are no query for the negotiation management. So the duty role has to be customized, not the OBA, remember. Right? The duty role is ORA duty role there. Fine, let me go there and then copy it into one. Right? I will not drop down. Fine, I will not copy the role. Fine, I will not click on the copy role. So let me what happens? Make a name of A20 actually. This is A20 <coughs> fine space. And then here everything is caps actually. I will now put capital A20 underscore. No space is allowed actually. As well as. So I given a role code also. Fine. A20, A20. Now what happens? I go to the role hierarchy. <coughs> Not the role hierarchy. I will now go to the functional security policies. So here what happens? I is already loaded. I will now query for the unsealed. Unsealed I will query. So the first stage is technical. I am removing it. In reality, what happens? You will be removing the commercial stage also. Let me remove the technical one only. In this case. I click on it. You can remove both also. So unseal whatever I am now going to remove from the NACA and the A20 negotiation management. Fine, click on delete. It is not deleted. So we don't have we have got the, the two uh, stage two only there, stage one is not there at all. So if you go to the summary and then we'll not save so it and close by which whatever I customize the A20 negotiation management is ready. Now we'll not query for the category manager and then insert our customized negotiation manager. Category, I will not say manager. Category manager, I'm going to put you on. So category manager is the word job, and the one, not the uh, OBA actually. And category manager job, I'm putting it. I will not take copy of it. Okay. So click on it. I will not take copy. So click on copy. Fine, go there. So copy from the original role. I will now make what A20 space. And then here it is A20. Fine. It has to be capital fine. Go there. So here I will now go to the role hierarchy. In the role hierarchy, what I do is uh, I'll now go to the functional security manager. I'll now go on and see the unseal is coming. I'm not trying to unseal entry now. So load inherited policies. We are loading it and then we are putting it on unseal. So both of them are coming from negotiation management. So let us now delete it because what I was, uh, first of all, I should not have the negotiation management at all. I have to have my negotiation management actually. It has to come from this place. So A20 negotiation management as well. It has to be inherited from that place only. Then only I can remove it. Now. So what happens? You go there, go to the role hierarchy. I will not go to the role hierarchy. I will not query for the negotiation management. Negotiation management. Let me query it now. Negotiation management. So negotiation management is what? If you see negotiation management is A20 only. Fine. So negotiation management is only in the category manager, negotiation management is only A20, what happens this one? A20 category manager. So it's ours only. Fine. It is inherited from our our category manager only fine. A20 category manager fine is okay. Fine is okay. So in that case, what happens? We can very well go on then delete that role. So go there. So we are given it. Fine. So that since we have added that now, fine is what is coming now. Fine. Now go there. You go to the function security policy. Fine. So negotiation management is now coming from this role only. Fine. This role only. So is one coming now. Fine. So negotiation management is now coming. Fine. Uh, I will do one thing. Let me delete this and then add mine now. Fine. Delete. Fine. Click on delete. Is a duty role OBA? We can leave it now. Fine, only duty role is required. Fine, delete it. Negotiation management of this one is deleted. Let me add mine actually. Click on add role. Mm -hmm. I will now say 820. So let me add it. 820 negotiation management. I'm adding it. So click on add one more So now what happens if you go on and see what happens? I close it now. Fine. So my 820 negotiation management is now available inherited in this role only. So now we can very well what happens? I customize that. Uh, what happens? Your security. Now. Fine, there. What happens? Is a, is a, uh, so my A20 negotiation management is there in the A20 category. Fine. If you click on it, click on it. Here, what happens? You go there. The load inherited policies. Now, what happens? It will not show mine actually. You go there. So uh, if you go on and see unlock two stage, is there now? Fine. It is of this now. Uh, stage two. Stage one is already gone. Stage one is already gone because that is not having it now. So my uh, my A20 negotiation management is not having stage one. So only. The second stage is only available on this one, on this A20 category manager. Got it. Got it. So uh, since my negotiation manager is not having uh, a first stage, so that is not there. So in the unseed, we have only, only one of A20 negotiation manager. No, A20. Now go there, go to the summary, and then what happens? We'll now save it. Now. Click on submit. Now, we will now query this uh, procurement contracts administrator. So let us now paste this one now with ours now. So I will take a copy of it again. So I will take a copy of it. Procurement contracts administrator. 
procurement contracts administrator and again some spelling is like procurement so procurement contracts administrator procure c u r e procurement contracts administrator over i am not putting it on job one i am putting it on okay, procurement contract i will not make a copy of it okay take on copy roll so go there and then i will not copy to what your a don't you sorry a don't you this cap a don't you underscore so i will not go to the role hierarchy so the category manager i will not delete it then i will not put my category manager over there category manager let me delete it and this is the one i'm gonna uh this i will not delete even though it's now coming on the 820 procurement manager so let us not delete it and then put my 820 category manager click on direct by deleting it then here i'll go on and query for it i click on add role so i will now add 820 so 820 category manager i'm adding it so 820 category manager i'm adding it click on add role machine it is now added now so if you go to the function security policy you go there so code space i will now go for unseal now right unseal and then query for it now i will now load the inherited policies load the inherited policies and then query for the unseal actually so we have only two stage coming from a20 negotiation management and not from negotiation management and then a20 negotiation management is available on the a20 category manager and then a20 category manager is available on this a20 procurement contract administrator so it's perfect fine brother so uh, everything is now perfect brother so it's all done now so unseal stage 2 only stage 1 is not there fine stage 2 is there but stage 1 has been removed so summary and then click on submit and close we are not unable now what you do is we will now query your uh, what was the user actually so the user is what uh, prc20 actually so go to the user so prc20 is a user we will now go there and then in this place what i'm going to do is i will now go to the edit now fine click on edit and then click on add role fine brother the prc all is a big role which is now going to give you all the powers actually fine let me delete it even now even the application implementation consultant is also gone actually fine we don't want to test it actually fine done and then go to add role and then i will now query my a20 fine a20 go there i will now use the procurement contract as not the category manager so procurement contract administrator i'm putting it in a select it and then what happens you go to add the role so we are adding it so that's it done and then what happens we will now save and then we will now what happens save the close save and close and then we will now run the import user role fine. import user is the one which is going to sync all the setups into the transaction system fine go there click on it we will now go there click on it we will now do the import user role and go to the schedule the new process so click on schedule new process i will now run the import user role Import user role, I'm going to run a fine component. And then I will now run the LDAP also, fine, because it's better to have it now. Fine component. We'll run the LDAP also. Click on the now. So it takes approximately five minutes to do it now. Fine. During this process, whatever I have no uh, uh, stop it now. Fine. No running. And then I run the LDAP also. So LDAP is also running. So retrieve LDAP changes. Click on OK. So click on OK. So click on submit. So I'm going to query the five minutes. So retrieve will happen. So I will now wait for five minutes, and then afterwards come back, and then I will now lower. Now, okay. And now wait for five minutes. No problem. Take five minutes now. Now the import user role has succeeded, and the LDAP has also succeeded. So let me load and log in. So let me go there. Let me sign out and sign in. So click on confirm. This screen I will now close it. I will again what happens? I log into the PRC twenty. So this time I will now create one more one. I will now go to the procurement. I will now go to the negotiations. No point. Procurement, and then I go to the negotiations. I will now create a one more negotiation. Click on create negotiation. We are now creating a new negotiation. So go there. It is not a standard one. I will now go for the two stage one. Drop it down. I will now choose this now. Click on create. And remember, you have to wait till uh, uh, both the concurrence. Fine. Import user as well as LDAP gets completed. Otherwise, what happens? It will not be visible properly actually for you. Then go to the OU, and then it will not give a date. So that I will not say what happens. The revise with two stage, two stage. 
So I will not give what okay, the close date. I'm you know, getting closed on this, but I'm now going to pre-close immediately now. So, and then I go to the requirements. I'm not touching anything at all. I go to the lines now. Click on the lines. In the lines, I'm now going to give a date actually. When we need it actually. Click on it. I will not say when we need it. I will not say the request date is 24. I will not simply publish it. So 31802 is now getting published. Now fine, click on publish. And that will be getting published. So go there. It will be getting published. 31802. So in this case here, whatever they go there and then go to the manage 31802 and go to the manage negotiations. 31802, I am going to manage. 31802. Sorry. 31802. So click on search now. Fine. It was saying upload in progress. So we'll now wait for some time for it to get active and locked actually. So now it has become active and locked, and I will now go to the first supplier. I will now go on the query part. Okay, no, okay. no query for us. Now he will now have a look at the active negotiation one. C1 is an active one. So now go there. Negotiation view active negotiation 31802 will be there. Final orders. I'll now click on the create response. He is now going to create a response. So click on create response. Now you will now give a date. Now find this time, whatever they now give 33 three now. If you go to the requirements, initially he gave 1 1. Now he is giving 3 3. 3 3. 3 3. And then you go to the lines price. Here also you will now give a 3 3 now. Line price is 3 3. You know, what it is. And then once when the freight is also 3 3, it becomes 6 6 actually. And you click on the edit now. Right over 3 3. Just for uniformity, we are giving this now. And then all the technical specs in this place, whatever they are giving it to what? 3 3. 3 3. 3 3. So you given everything now. So you want to submit the quote actually. I right? click on 7 close. It will be 6 to 6 actually. 6 is the response price. Right? Click on 7. So his response will be coming first. <coughs> You must set a response value for all the required attributes in section two. Okay. Section two, I have not given enough requirements to go there. Section one only I given. Section two, I have not given. In section two, whatever they go there. 33, 33, 33, and then 33. So click on submit. Maybe whatever this response will be going up. It is not done. Now we'll now go to the second supplier now. He is an over actually. When you click on done, he will now have a look at the view active negotiation. I click on done now. Now go there. He will now go to the what? Negotiation. View active negotiation. So view active negotiation. It will be coming. And 31802 is the one. Uh, 31802 is the one. Now find the ones. Go there. He will now create a response for us. He will now click on create a response. So he will now give 4 4. This one. He will now give 4 4. We go to the requirements. Go there. He is now going to go 4 4. 4 4. All right. And then drop down and then choose the next section actually. So here also again, what was it? 4 4, 4 4, 4 4, 4 4, 4. Dollar now five. You now go to the lines and then give a price of 44. Line price is 44. 100 quantities now. And then afterwards click on it. And then here it will now give what I was going to go there. You know, going to give fried also is 44 now. So it becomes 88 for him now. Fine. Everywhere 44. Everything is gone. We are safe and close. Now, fine. He is now going to submit it. So, now it will be in a sealed state. And so, what happens? The, the negotiator also cannot see the prices of both the people. So, both the responses are gone. Now, fine. They will all be in a sealed state. Go to the point. We will now go to the place. Now, I click on it. We will now go on the Again, search for it. And click on search for it. And then click on the hyperlink of it. And then we will now see the response history of it. Now go to the actions, go to analyze, and then view response history. You can now see both the quotes in a sealed fashion, actually. It's all sealed, actually. So now he will now go and then close the neg. Now. He will now close the and Go to actions, and go to manage. He's now going to close the neg. So he's now closing the neg with the comment. And click on submit. It will be closed, actually. Closed immediately. It will be getting closed. Now he will now have a look at it again. Now go to actions, and then go to analyze, and then go to the view response history. Whatever you can now see. It is closed and locked again. Only closed and locked, and then so what happens? All sealed lecture. Now he will now unlock the technical state. Thank you. Want to know. You're now going to unlock it. Go to the page manage, and then go to manage, and then he will now unlock the stage technical. And click on unlock the stage. Technical. So once when he unlocks it, what happens? He can very well see what the quotation of uh, uh, both the suppliers actually. Go to view, and then go to analyze, and go to what 
view response history. View response is the one. I go there. So you don't see the numbers coming up now. Fine. Previously, it was sealed now. Fine. Non log. If you click on the 711, fine. Go there. You cannot see the 33 3 code now. He has given a 33. 3, what are the requirements now? Fine. He has given 33. 3. Fine. 33 3 has given in the lines area, whatever you go there. You can now see the technical specs of it now. Fine. Click on the details. You can now see the technical specs of it as what? 333. 3, 3. The bottom, whatever, all the things are 333. Attributes, fine, whatever he has given, that you are able to see. But he cannot see any commercial. Now, what happens if you go to the what happens, second supplier? Second supplier, we are going to go there. Second supplier, we are going in now. Uh, we will now query for the 3 1 negotiation. What? Uh, 3 1 8 0 2 is the one. And then uh, what happens, the response is just now. Fine, click on it. And then we will now search for it. Fine. Second supplier is now searching for it. Uh, it's still not coming. Uh, Invited response submitted 31802. Uh, invitation received response submitted. Will not say null now. Fine, somewhere something is wrong. 31802. Oh, you cannot see the active negotiation, you can only see the responses. Basically, active negotiation is nothing actually, there's no more active actually. So, you will not see manager responses. Now, have a look at the manager responses. So, the negotiation is what 31802. So click on search now. Fine. Remember, it is not unsealed at all. So now make it as a null and then make a search now. Fine. Click on search. It's not unsealed. If you go and then click on the response now. Fine. Click on the response. Mm -hmm. 31802. Fine. Good actions and then go to view response history. Fine. He cannot see the other supplier's response at all. Fine. Only his response is available. Dell's response is not available at all. He can he can very well see his response now. Fine. Click on it. He can see both the technical and commercial also. This place, whatever he cannot see his own commercials also he can see. It. But the other suppliers is not available. But if you go and then see on the main stage, there is no unlocking, unsealing of technical there because we already customized the role. Now, fine, click on the now. Fine, go there. We don't have any unseal option at all. Fine, go to actions and then go to manage. Fine, go there. There is no unsealed commercial, unsealed technical is not there. We have customized the role actually. We can only complete the technical. So, unsealing of uh, technical stage is there. But unsealing of commercial, we kept retained as such. So we are not going to complete the technical. So unsealing has been removed, which is a very highly undesired one that has been customized and then removed. I will now complete the stage technical. So we are completing it. Now what happens? You know, open up the commercial. What actions? And go to manage. And then you're going to unlock the stage commercial. So once when he unlocks it, you can see the price bids of both the suppliers. Click on unlock stage. Unlock stage. We are unlocking it. So it's unlocked actually. So here, what happens? You know, go to the actions and then go to award and then view response history. You can now see price of both the vehicles. So both are going to space. So if you go and then click on the second one, second one's price also you can see it. This is the first one, second one. Everybody, you go to the lines widget, you can now see both the things. So the price is coming as what for uh, eighty-eight now. Fine. So it is a uh, second supplier. Fine. So he's still a second rank one. Whereas if you go and then see, he's only unlocked the stage commercial actually. If you click on the now, fine, it's unlocked the commercial. Uh, if you go and then click on done now, <laughs> and then what happens? I make a search again now. Uh, so click on the response. Oh, thank you for the response. Now this guy cannot see the other other uh, supplier's response at all. Go oh, there. If you go to actions and then go to view response history, he can see only his section because it is only unlocked. Now unsealing is very much possible. Unsealing of commercial is very much possible. We will not unseal it. Now this guy can see both the people's responses. Right? You go there for it. You will not unseal it actually. Click on that. We are going to in the in the negotiator's login actually. Then the negotiator log fine go there. So negotiator is going to go there. You know going to unseal. Good actions and then go to manage. Now unseal is available. We are not custom, we are not removed it. Only by customization, we remove the unseal technical stage only and not the second stage of commercial actually. You know going to unseal it now. Fine. Click on unseal. So we are unsealing it now. Click on unseal. So now it is unsealed actually. Now we will now go to what I was your opera. Fine, click on done. So click on done. English. And then again, requery it now. Fine, click on search again. We are requering it. Like open up your response now. Fine, click on open up response. So go there. And then go to actions and then go to view response history. Now you can see both the people's commercial quote actually. Right. The first supplier's quote is also available. Fine. His price, he knows, is a, if you click on it, he can now see his price is 88. Fine. His price is 88. And then if you click on the fine, you can now see the other price is 66. No, fine. If you click the first supplier, the supplier name and site will not be coming. Fine. If you click on it, whatever, the other supplier's price will be visible as 66. Now he will again bribe the whatever the negotiator and then or I ask him to go for one more round. He will now give a price of 65 or 64 or something like that. <laughs> so this activity will now keep on going. So this is a way of what removing the unlocking of 
technical as well as uh, unsealing of her technical and commercial status. Fine. You can do the role classification, you can do it now. Fine. So, this is how it has been done in Reliance actually. Fine. Reliance Industries has asked Oracle to remove both the unseals actually. Fine. So, the role has been customized and then what happens? Uh, both the unseals have been removed. I hope that you have understood this now. Fine. So, this will be what happens. Now. <clears throat> so, bye for now. And then we'll know if you have any queries, you can write to me at uh, nana.app60 at uh, gmail.com or otherwise you can even uh, ping me on my WhatsApp number 9848 for any clarifications. Best wishes for a prosperous career in Fusion Apps. Bye.